Uh, oi, no way, Adley. <laughs> no freebies. That's mine. What, you're a delivery driver? Yeah. Hey, hey Adley. Um, I got the job. Nice. Are you serious? No. Okay, the SJ has a sense of humour. Going well? Ha ha ha, very funny. It's like, what am I even doing here? Why don't you just drop out? I mean, you are clearly doing okay for yourself. You, um, go in cemetery tonight? Uh, yeah. Yep. See you there. See ya. You got my reasons? What's he doing? Not enough. Yeah? What's his place like? Why, are you planning on robbing him or something? Fuck off. Hey. I'm sorry about before. I need a favour. Why me? I mean, don't you have a ton of Eshe friends ready to do crime? You know, you're pretty much like the only cool person at school, I guess. Mum recently decided that I was too much and sent me off to daddy prison for a bit, so... Oh! Uh, well, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Turns out I'm not everyone's cup of bubble tea. You either get rid of this right now or we're taking a wander down the local cop shop. Your call. Mm. Oh my God. has got a bit hectic at home and it doesn't look like it can keep me back there anymore. I'm really sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll sort something else out. And who's that guy? Oh, they dropped it off. Just a boy from school. I was, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to hang. You know, just if you're not doing anything. Sure. I'm usually great with favours, I promise. I believe you. So you're a slut. <laughs> <laughs> you want a ditch? I've wagged every other class, so I might as well keep it consistent. <laughs> One more auto driver. Is that enough? We want two each. <clears throat> Dealing drugs in speed dealers is a bit cliche, don't you think? Yeah. Jesus, what happened? Nothing. Yeah, you were talking to that other lad. Jacob? Yeah, I just... I didn't want to interrupt. Interrupt what? Oh my god, nothing's happening there. Tonight or any other night in the indefinite future. <laughs> I... I should get home. I'm getting mixed signals from Cash. It sounds like it's going well. He hasn't made a move. Okay, we, we kissed. And it was hot, except it should have been more, and it wasn't. It's just, I'm like, I'm like really horny, like all of the time. Same, babe. You gotta come on a date. No, no, I just got a cold shiver up my spine. Hey, um, while I have you here, I just um, wanna. Um, listen, uh, do you, if you wanna, do you wanna hang tonight? I'm so sorry. About what? You're driving me to my games night. Whoop de doo. How do you two know each other? Work. Sport. Schwer. Ah, never heard of it. This will not take long. I promise. Um. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Come on, girls. Come on. Sorry, but I'll. Date is ruined. So it was a date. That's cool. I don't get him. Maybe he just needs an incentive. I could give him a 15% off at work. No, no, what the fuck? No, just send him a nude. Show him what he's missing out on. You 
should invite someone over. Darren, perhaps. Hmm? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I cooked it. Oh, no! Hi. Hi. Did you want to come over? My nan is out. Darren, Darren, stop, stop. I don't want that right now. You don't want me. I don't like that. What the fuck is this? Can we just stay here? In this moment, is that okay? You know, I think there might be something really fucking wrong with you, Tash. Go use somebody else to figure it out. Well, fuck you then! Cash is officially expired. Maybe he just doesn't like burning it up as much as you do. And besides, you guys haven't even had a conversation about what you're both looking for yet. Cash. Just here delivering some orders, Karen. Maybe we have completely different sex drives or whatever. It, we could work through that and I definitely Oh should... my days, I can't do this right now. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while, I thought thought maybe you've been avoiding me. Nan's been in the hospital the last few days. Shit, I'm sorry. It's never going to be a good time for you, is it? Yeah. And you really only ever think about yourself, don't you? To be friends. Okay, friends. I can do that. <laughs> I really love him, Dad. Can I you put it out there? I really put it out there. Been looking for you. What did you do? <laughs> when you're in love, sometimes you gotta do the crazy thing. I love you, Darren. I've loved you since you eight. I want this. I want you. I can't believe I'm finally allowed to visit you tomorrow. I know. I can't wait. It's a bit probo that you're standing by an accused rapist. Cash didn't do anything. I miss you. Look around you. Look around. This is Cash. We talk every day on the phone, but... Mm actually getting to touch his hand. Can't keep avoiding him. I can't stop thinking about the stuff Chuck said. That's why you need to talk to him. You think you know him, but you don't. Dougie needs all the support he can get in that shithole. Not some flippity gibbet who ditches him the minute he gets a better offer. You told my grandson you loved him, but the minute he needed you, you disappeared. Whatever you're feeling about Dougie, it's none of my business. 
but you at least owe him an explanation. You could have answered my calls. And I'm sorry. I guess you're busy with your real life now. You're my real life. But don't be so quick to give up on Ducky. If you think that I'm capable of doing what they did to Harper, I don't even know why you're here. I guess it's just we haven't really known each other for that long. I love you. How could you love me if you think I'm that kind of person? I'm sorry for making you feel like I didn't trust you. That was a moment of pure insanity. What are you doing here? Well, uh, my next class is chemistry, so... I'm actually boiling. I'm gonna go for a dip in the lake. Um, Quinny, you coming? <clears throat> Boy. Okay. Hey, can we, like, debrief? About what? About, you know, the, the bunk bed last night. Why do I feel like you're about to explode? Oh, Cash, I don't want to talk about this now. My days, I, I don't get it. Like, you spend all this time trying to take things further and the second I try, you reject me. Reject you? How do you think I feel knowing you're doing it to pity me? Darren. Darren, I don't pity you, I love you. Guess I felt jealous. Like, why is that not me? I don't want you to be uncomfortable. No, Darren, that's, that's impossible. <laughs> You've only ever made me feel comfortable. You let me be myself. You guys think I should be worried? I've sent Cash like five messages and he's not replied. Oh, what am I interrupting? Date night, am I? Huh? Fucking Mardi Gras, is it? You should have to get fucked by your faggot boyfriend some other time. Don't you dare talk about them. Don't you fucking dare. You're my soulmate, Aaron. You're mine. Dan, I can explain! I... I'm sorry, I guess we both did a shitty thing and now we can move on. Where are That's why I love you. But while we're together, you will never be free to be that person. Breaking up with me? We'll be happier as friends. We tried that and it didn't work. Oh, this isn't working out enough. If sex is killing our relationship, I will kill sex. You and Darren have been living in your own romantic novel. Now you're hitting the real stuff. The gooey center, the problems. No relationship is a smooth sail. It's about wanting to know what you're willing to fight for.